Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I want to say to Nigeria, congratulations. You know, today is the, the, the handing over say, or swearing in ceremony of the government to rule to in, in, in the next dispensation. Now, I believe God's hand is upon our nation. See, and when God's hand is upon your, your nation, you don't fight it. Praise God. You believe God for what God is doing and you wait and see the outcome of what God is doing. Praise God. But I know that Nigeria is on a journey and you will soon see, you will soon have the clarity of what God is doing in our nation. Praise God. So I, I just bless our nation and I bless that even today, what God has planned for our nation will begin to unfold. And the Spirit of God will rest upon our leaders. The Spirit of God will rest upon our rulers and cause them to do exactly what God has ordained for each one of them to do and to fulfill. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I will share a scripture to you from the book of James chapter 2. Now, we've been talking about faith versus works. So, I started telling from hope to faith and then from faith to works. See, now, it says, Hebrews chapter 2, eh, sorry, James chapter 2 and verse 14. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works, can faith save him? All right. If a brother or a sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Now he's saying faith without works. Will faith alone stand? See, then he gave the example, that, okay, if someone is hungry and is destitute, you know, and comes to you, we, you by you just said it is well with you. Is that okay? Is that going to clothe them? Is that going to feed them? Now, watch. It says, verse 17. Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, it is dead. See? Faith, if it doesn't have works to show. Now, that's the, the reason is this. No one sees faith. See, when God speaks to you, nobody sees it. <laughs> you know, remember one time Jesus was praying. And then when he prayed, God responded to what he said. And when God responded, the Bible said, some people said that it thundered. And others said, an angel just spoke to him. But Jesus said, the voice that you heard came from God. Praise God. Now, now they all heard the same thing. Some heard the blast of the thunder. Some who were maybe devout people knew that that was not thunder. That must have been an angel that spoke to someone that's looking at Jesus now. And that, but Jesus who understood what happened said it was God that spoke to me. So what you just heard is the voice of God. But you see, because they didn't know God, they didn't understand. See, that's, that's exactly where a lot of people are today. Because they don't know. And how do you know God? Through fellowshipping. When you fellowship with his word, when you fellowship with scriptures, when you fellowship with other believers. Now, when I mean other believers, believers that have testimony. Now, the fact that you go to church. You know, I was talking to someone one time and then, and then the person said, and the, 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 I was talking to him about the person, look, this people you're relating with are they real believers and he he was you know the bible says we should not forsake the assembly of the saints i said okay fine are these saints you go to the same church but are these saints now there there is a character there is a character of a saint praise god a saint has the word of god in him now the fellowship he's speaking of there it's not just you going to mark register in church praise god it's you getting the substance of that fellowship praise god so you must make sure that words are coming when you fellowship with other believers you must make sure that words are coming praise god now that's how you keep yourself in the environment of faith now watch this it says thus also by Verse, verse 17, thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. See, now you show your faith by your works. 
Now, many people have misunderstood this, and I'm going to be going deep into this tomorrow. But lots of misunderstanding about this scripture. It says, the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So, this is why I'm doing this thing. And then, so, you see, if there is no works, the faith is dead. But then, if you're walking and there is no faith, then your work is in vain. Did you get that? It's in vain. So, two things you must understand. Faith, no works, dead faith. Works, no faith, vain works. Praise God. <laughs> I've got to stop here. But remember, our program is just two days away. Friday by 6 p.m. at the NAF Conference Center. We will be having a wonderful time setting the agenda for our nation. Praise God. And, and the Spirit of God is going to uphold us and, and, and grant us utterance, grant us His wisdom. And we are going to take some decisions in the Spirit of God that you will begin to see the result. Praise God. So join this meeting. You know, from, from, from if, you, if you're in Abuja, join this meeting and you will surely be blessed. You will surely be blessed. Have a wonderful day today. God bless you. Bye-bye.